Hello everyone and welcome back to digit.com, a platform where we make life simple for management students worldwide. In this video on the subject of service marketing, we will be covering the topic on how do you manage quality in services. The video fleshes out the importance of quality in service marketing. It also covers the soft and hard measures used to measure service quality. The video additionally highlights the example of the Oberoi Hotel and in case of PRS Oberoi, also known as Biki Oberoi, the ex-chairman of the hotel and his attention to detail to maintain service quality across all his properties. So now let's start with how do you manage service quality? Let's start with what is service quality and its importance. Service quality involves comparisons of expectation with the actual performance. As per Lewis and Booms, service quality is a measure of how well the service delivered matches customer expectations. Delivering service quality means meeting the requirements of customer expectations on a consistent basis. Service firms can use the service quality in maintaining competitive advantage and the customers can use the service quality for quality differentiation. Moving on, organizations are becoming increasingly aware of the importance of quality in maintaining competitive advantage. During the last decade, total quality management has been a buzzword for all business. Measuring quality in services is not a simple task since they are intangible and cannot be stored, as discussed in earlier chapters. Generally in services, the evaluation of quality is made during the service delivery process, which mainly comprises of an encounter between the customer and the service provider. Moving on to how do you measure service quality? Managers must measure service quality to identify service quality gaps. Thus factors such as the type of gap, where it exists, and the remedial actions to be taken depend on measuring the service quality. Measurement of service quality includes soft and hard measures. Let's look at each one of them briefly, starting with hard measures. Hard measures relate to those characteristics of a service that can be counted, timed, or measured through audits. They refer to operational processes or outcomes and include data indicating service response time, failure rates, and delivery cost. In such cases, service firms use control charts. Hard measures include the following. For instance, the number of minutes a customer must wait in line to get to the counter. Next, on-time takeoff of a flight. And finally, the number of patients that made a complete recovery post the operation. In this case, the doctor's success rate. Moving on to the soft measures. Soft measures are those that cannot be easily observed and must be collected by talking to customers, employees or others. Soft standards provide direction, guidance and feedback to employees regarding how to achieve customer satisfaction. A proper feedback from customers can make a long-run change in the attitude of the employees and the company. Soft measures include the following, such as ongoing surveys of customers by telephone or mail, a customer advisory panel to offer feedback and advice on service performance, and employee surveys and panels to determine barriers to providing better service and suggestions for improvements. Now, how do you improve service quality? Improving service quality involves the following. First, identifying quality determinants. This is another video that we've covered later on in this module. Then the second way of improving service quality is managing evidence, as in the physical evidence that we discussed in the chapter of physical evidence. Then comes the element of educating customers, developing a quality culture, and automating service. Moving on, the tools to analyze and address service quality problems are, first, the fishbone diagram, also known as a cause and effect analysis. This is covered under the management segment of our courses. Then comes the option of blueprinting. This is covered in the service sector module itself under the chapter of process. Number three is a Pareto chart. Then comes the element of total quality management. And finally, Six Sigma. Now moving on to the concept of zone of tolerance and improving service quality. We all know that services are heterogeneous. Thus, performance may vary across providers, across employees from the same provider, and even with the same service employee. The extent to which customers recognize and are willing to accept this variation is called zone of tolerance and is shown in the figure. Now let's understand the diagram of zone of tolerance. If the service drops below the adequate service, indicated in a blue bar on the left, the minimum level considered acceptable, customers will be frustrated with the company and the image will be damaged. Now, if the service performance is outside the zone of tolerance at the top, that means at the yellow bar, and where performance exceeds desired service, customers will be very pleased and probably quite surprised as well. You might consider the zone of tolerance as a range or window in which customers do not particularly notice service performance, that is the gray area. 
When it falls outside the range, that is either very low, that is towards the blue bar, or very high, towards the yellow bar, the service gets the customer's attention in either a positive or a negative way. So simply, if the service falls below the level of adequate service, it would be in a negative way. And if the service reaches a desired service, it would be in a positive way. Let's look at an example of zone of tolerance. Consider the service an airline passenger receives from the ticket counter when checking luggage. Most customers hold a range of acceptable times for the service encounter, probably somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes. Now, if a customer enters the line and finds sufficient airline personnel at their counters to serve her in first 2 or 3 minutes, she may judge the service as excellent. On the other hand, if a customer has to wait in line for 15 minutes, she begins to grumble and stares at the employee behind the counter's marked counter not open. The longer the wait is outside the zone of tolerance, the more frustrated she becomes. So here, in this case, 2-3 to three minutes and getting the service would be the desired service and if the service takes about 15 minutes, it would be below the adequate service. Now moving on to some examples of service quality overall. Let's start with the first one, the Obroy Hotel. In this case, PRS Obroy, the ex-story and perfection. PRS Obroy, also known as Bicky Obroy, the ex-chairman of Obroy Group of Hotels, was famous for his persistence on an egg yolk being correct shade of yellow for use in omelette served at his properties. In fact, several chefs at the Obroy Hotel were stressed at his habit of randomly breaking an egg to check the color of the yolk, or sometimes even returning his breakfast because the color is not right. As he famously stated, If I go to a hotel and order eggs and the color of the yolk is not right, I will tell the manager you cannot make an omelette or boiled eggs or even fried eggs from a yolk that is not of the right color. So much for perfection. For him, perfection was not about reaching 99%. He always stated, no, it has to be 99.5%. He acknowledged the fact that luxury and perfection are difficult to achieve. Therefore, he allowed his team for a 0.5% chance of not achieving 100%. And the final example, again in this case of Pierre Sobroy, in this case, quality and customization. Bicky O'Broy's obsession was so legendary that an affluent guest at the O'Broy Gurgaon in India stated, A napkin in an O'Broy hotel is whiter than my shirt, and in Delhi, few can afford a shirt as white as mine. Customization is another segment that O'Broy aces at. Every time a guest checks into an O'Broy property, his or her details are factored in. These entail dietary choices, favorite flowers, pillow options, and more. These are maintained and shared across the entire O'Broy hotel ecosystem. For instance, whenever Sanjay Rishi, the former president of American Express South Asia, checks into any of the Obra properties, his room is stocked with the brand of Olong Green Tea. So that's it folks, this brings an end to the topic on how do you manage service quality. These are the list of sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you.